So in this video, we're gonna talk about purlings. And purlings are the two by fours that go on your roof that run the whole length. And these are important, they connect your trusses together and where your steel roofing gets placed onto. There's a couple different ways this can be installed. One can be on the flat and one can be on the edge. We put it on the edge because it gives it a little more strength and let more rigidity and there's less flex. You can see that if I were to push down on this board, how it moves and deflects a little bit versus if I were to go on the edge one, you could push as hard as possible, I could jump on that and that's not gonna flex nearly as much as on the flat, giving you a little more strength. One reason why they might install the purlings on the flat is it's a wider hit range, so it's easier to hit that down into your truss without missing. On edge, it's a smaller hit range, so your crew has to be experienced and has to be good enough to be able to hit that purling into the truss without missing to give you that extra strength. Another thing about purlings is when you connect them over your truss here, do you butt them up or do you overlap them? So at FBI, we overlap these purlings, gives you more lumber on top of your roof, and gives that more rigidity and strength on that truss. Whereas when you're butting them, you wanna put like a plate guys in there that connects them. Can look a little smoother, but it ends up having less lumber on your roof and can be a little less strong. And the last point about purlings is screwed versus nailed. So we move to a screw that goes in your purling down into your truss, gives you more strength, stronger connection versus hammering that nail into there. Less chances of missing, less chances of damaging your purling, and a screw is always stronger than a nail in these applications.